hey guys so google io is going on and this is probably the last day they are wrapping up the events they have launched a couple of things basically focused on ai and ml almost all their products is backed up by these things so in this uh, video tutorial i'll be talking about ml kit which is also one of the product they launched under the firebase hood so what's the difference what's ml kit so MLKit is basically for those developers who want to run ML models right on their mobile. I mean, there are other competitors also working on the similar thing. For example, Amazon has uh, the recognition services, Amazon Poly, Trans Transcribe and whatnot. So, but there is a basic difference between what they provide and what Google is providing. All those services that Amazon is offering runs online. They require internet. Google went a step ahead and made all those machine learning those trained machine learning model available to run right on your mobile without requiring an internet connection yes that's true and that's a big leap you know for all the de developers working on things so i mean amazon you could also set up things on amazon but obviously you'll require an internet connection and if you want to do all those machine learning things on real-time videos it's a pain you have to set up things like amazon kinesis and stuff like that in order to get things done but here it's straightforward very simple so what amazon is uh, i mean what google is providing so with this model uh, they provide like five services which is out of the box available one of them is test uh, text recognition face detection barcode scanning image labeling and landmark recognition all of them are pretty much familiar to everybody uh, in this video I'll be talking about face detection specifically because it's it's like a really promising in terms of result so in order to do that you first need to create a Firebase project so let's uh, go ahead and create the project you just need to select the country you belong from and the name of the project so I have already set up a github repo for this where all of these codes are available and hosted I will be sharing with you guys soon so as soon as this project is created you need to go ahead and continue so these are the things that is available to, uh, to you to get things done right face detection stuff everything you can right away get started from here as well there are all documentation available so before I do anything, let's see the demo of how things work. Okay guys, let's see how this demo work. I already set up the entire project in my Android phone. It's Lenovo K8. So this is the app that I set up. I just screen recorded this just to show how this thing works. So let's see when I open the app. And basically prompt you for this to start the ML kit and then they have all the facing cameras you can just see the front facing cameras now as soon as they detect it just create a bounding box and when I smile it's got like 4 0 point uh, when I go sad it's like 0 0.0 and when I smile it's like 0 0.78 so you know you can detect happiness and now when I wink it goes to 0 0.2 which is like closing the eye which is 0 0.9 on the right side and same for the other one so you know these are the three features that's offering also there's something called IDs ID where you know you can also detect multiple people so there are numerous possibilities you know you could create a hell lot of apps using this gesture for example you can create a photo booth where you could just wink and you know click the photo or maybe a sort of a smilometer where a big meter can create a big meter and ask a lot of people to smile and based on that the smilometer will go up and up and up this could be very engaging so this is something really interesting to do so now let's see how this how to set up this in android studio and how to get this working so this is the entire project i have uh it's pretty much simple nothing fancy there are a couple of things that you need for example you need camera internet uh, external storage and stuff like that here is the app so let's close all of them and start from the scratch okay so it starts with this chooser activity where you know you have uh, 
a button, a start button, which is this one. When you start, when you click on the start button, it basically starts uh, your live view activity, live preview activity, which is this one. Now, this is something you need to really focus on. So, this ML kit not only provides face detection, it provides text detection, barcode detection, image label detection, stuff like that. We'll be focusing ourselves to face detection right now. So Firebase package come with something called camera source where this is a specific type of camera source uh, which is basically created uh, here. So based on the models we are as already may, uh, made default the uh, face detection model. So once you create the camera source, you can start the camera source and you can start getting the feed out of it. So uh, this is also one, one of the option where you could, you know, select the front facing or the back facing camera. And this is how you do it. So this is something that I said that you need to focus on. The camera source has a function called set machine learning frame processor. So there are different processors that has been made available using Firebase, their custom image classifier processor, face detection processor. So let's see how face detection processor is. So it, everything that is going on inside is here. Face detection processor just set up the entire thing using the tracking uh, functionality and the classification and everything which is here. Now, once this is done, they just, they start the camera source and things started getting done. This is where uh, the camera source is overlaid by the graphic overlay. So what is graphic overlay? It's just what you see when, you know, all those bounding boxes were there and all those happiness detection was there and everything. It was all, all of them was here. So if I uh, go ahead and see the layout of this, it's very fairly simple. So this is just the preview area where you see the image. So this is the preview area and this is the fa fire face overlay. So the camera source is basically the preview from the camera. And on top of that, all of things that is detected is drawn on the graphics overlay. It's fairly simple. It's fairly straightforward. Nothing fancy. You just need to uh, see this thing, which is this part where they actually select the frame processors, which one is the frame processor, which is very important. For example, if you are going for barcode scanning, this is the processor that you need to select. And if you're going for something else, you need to select the corresponding processor. All those applications are here packaged inside an app. So if I go ahead and go inside face graphic, this is where all the bounding box are drawn. You could see the draw, uh, the draw fun function, the happiness is calculated here. So uh, the face that is passed inside the Firebase vision face, face has got multiple function. For example, if I show you a lot of things. So these are the function available. You can get the bounding box, the Euler angles of XYZ, get landmark. So there's something called smiling probability. This is the one which is, which was actually showing up, uh, in the video earlier I was showing and the tracking ID. This is also important where if you want to track multiple people in their corresponding smile and stuff like that. So this is just the base of getting things started with just scratching the surface guys. There are a lot of things we could do the immense possibilities where you could build multiple apps based on that. So this is just the face detection. There are other things as well. You could do barcode scanning cloud image labeling where you could focus the camera to some you know landscape and it will tell you what all things are available in the uh, landscape so why these things are important why these things are fancy because already there are a lot of services which is doing this this is important fancy because it's real time and without internet connection these two things are very important you could run this offline so this was pretty much it let me know if you want me to make this videos for other things as well I'll be making more apps based on this to be very you know to just to see what is the possibilities of uh, this ML kit also uh, if you want to run your own machine learning models it also allows that you can uh, use TensorFlow Lite to create machine learning model and train them and make it available inside your app again it's very fancy so that would be it for this video guys it's really fancy it's really cool thank you so much